Challenges that we are having apparently for uh, just to get involved in the forestry will be the high expectations of these youths. They want something that brings in money very fast. So if you look at the culture, it's not a long term. You have to wait for some time before you get something out of it. So it's a challenge for them to get involved. Uh, the land tenure system that we are having and is not favoring for the yes. It's made of, uh, owned by the elderly. So yes, when we have these affluent and uh, we can't uh, possibly uh, practice uh, the chemistry. Youth wants clean work. They want to extend, they want to be involved maybe in the upper part of the value chain, not the DD. They can come in for maybe Processing there, they can be involved in the problem. Marketing, they can do it. But the biggest problem is with the team. The land. This is a teacher. I will go to the teacher. I Cutting Zingans in Balagan, you would remember Anga and Kungu de Mbaita. The two Banga would to Tunda, the Vasiquata Calculator. If the Bambadira Cunyo, the Bagaman Nakosa went to one moon, Pacas Natura Wichti, Nayar at least in years age, and so good book Funachi. Now when you get a sack on the moon of Rala would not turn the Mazin of Moon Nica soda. Catina on the Vachagara, Nayo was the moon to Yabalabaga, but a vain ascent. Atom <laughs> 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 In Uganda, why people are saying there are no jobs? It's because most of them have been in the urban and they have not been trained, they have not been engaged in agriculture. But every youth, every young child, at the, at the child, the growing, he should be taught, should be actually trained to understand certain agronomic practices, certain economic activities which are in agriculture. For example, one can take a, uh, uh, can take a portrait. Even when we were young, for us, we were managing portrait. We managed in portrait, I used to have 300 bags. It would be good if we could promote, or if government could promote the use of tractors so that the tractor can plow, the second plow, give it plant, so that the, so the youth, not only as it may be good for harvesting, so that would be helpful. So, technologies like mechanization, the use of ox plows, and uh, can we attract from what youth to come back? It's very important for this to be get involved in, in agroforestry from Uganda. In instances that will be soft applied, so the ratio of unemployment will definitely have, have to go down. But also the dependency on the elderly also will have to go down. So for the government, more taxes will be earned because from these activities after they do the same, they will be active. The importance of working towards involving the youth in agriculture is based on the fact that first of all, agriculture is a form of livelihood. 
Ghana, almost the majority of the Ghanaians, and without the food, there is no life. And there is a slogan that which says that no farmer, no food, and no future. And these youths need to, to live long. I mean, they have the right to live. So, for us in Uganda, in mostly in my culture, we say, there is a saying, that the youth are the leaders of tomorrow. Are the leaders of tomorrow. That means, if you train a youth right from childhood to understand that agriculture is not a punishment, Agriculture is a social economic activity that you should do and get some and get some idea. Then he has to take that as a job. The youth could be having some skills somewhere, but if they are not empowered, then you always be suppressed. But if a youth is also involved in the activities at home. Then this is where he grows up and knows with at least this, 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 this. Like when it comes to enterprise selection, if you have a youth who is maybe in a senior secondary school, he has already identified that this enterprise has more market than this one. So he's empowered to advise the parents, instead of growing this, let us grow this. That is mean that at household level there will be development. And we need the youth to start to start youth involving them in agricultural activities and to see that we we ensure that youth love agriculture. Not saying that agriculture is a punishment. I think the government should help us to revive those kind of school gardening. School gardening so that a child does not see agriculture as a punishment, but something that is for economic what? Benefit. And this we involve the youth. Agriculture will not be long last. It will come in time and it got lost. Because you have put that in work in one group, in another generation. The beauty of our women tend to be shy. The line says that if a woman go to leadership, it is in separation. Either they might not be listened to, and that alone prevents them from participating in leadership position. When you look at the smaller groups down there, the farmer groups, they are led by women. Where the challenge is, it's only this top most what leadership where a few are educated. The biggest challenge in women involvement in leadership is that uh, adult of our women tend to be shy. They tend to leave things to the men. Because even our policy which states that that is thirty percent of any leadership program or farmer organization should be women. Instead of just and leadership is the right first, but we sort of compel them to take up some of those positions. But it's encouraging that the women who are quite exposed are taking up leadership process in the, in the different farm organizations. For example, currently I think we have over five District Farmers Association, which are headed by ladies. Kasese, Oima, Alisa, Tororo, Isia. So at least the women are coming up. And with more sensitization and the more education, I think that challenge will be overcome. Women are so much engaged in home activities and whereby. They see no value in going for upper positions where they are not getting any money, any pay. Because, for example, in the organizational 
the organization is that we lead, like the Ghana National Farmers Federation. The leadership does the work voluntarily. So the voluntary kind of assignment makes somebody not to see the value as to why she should struggle to get to the top of the leadership in that organization. But down there, the female, the women are actively competing for the leadership. It has been observed that women participation in a number of associations and organizations is down. And from our findings, at times it is because some women are not sure of themselves. That when they are with men, either they may not be listened to, and that alone prevents them from participating in leadership positions. Mainly the culture in Uganda said that women cannot lead men. They have that culture in Uganda. Actually, we need we, we need to support women in in empowering them in many things like uh, economically because when it comes to elections, people want something from their pocket. If if a woman has no money, can't even win any post. 
So we need much support to win. We need training. We need to empower them to get knowledge and to empower them socially. Because a a woman in the people killed there, the majority they 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 are they shares to stand stood in any any post. Many will laugh at me. And even we need to bring together men and women because the men, men, the majority do not want their women to come to come to leadership. Yeah, because they think that the mindset says that if a woman go to leadership, it is it is being separation. So yes. And even women know that if you go for leadership, does not mean that you separate from yeah. you Wait, you hang up with your children. Don't you hang up with your children? Don't you hang up with your children? Don't you hang up with your children? Don't Others, when you, you we have 24 hours a day, but when you sit down and calculate the number of hours, a, a, a lady is working, she works for more hours than one. So that alone prevents ladies from participating in the number of organizations and reception leadership roles. In some areas, it is culture that is being changed now. But for some years back, the cultural values were not allowing women to be in 